After that, the rest is again easy. So we have the cavity table. Finally, let's consider a subgroup, an even subgroup of uh, dihedral group. So uh, let's just consider all even transformations, namely the set of all rotations for our dihedral group. So this set also forms a group, and it's called CN, the cyclic group, the N uh, cyclic group. So this is cyclic generated by rho, CN is equal to rho, and consists only of the even transformation, only of the even transformations, only of rotations in the dihedral group. So actually we can also show a polygon which is uh, for, for which uh, this group is a group of its symmetry. So for instance for um, n equals 3 for the perfect triangle I've already showed you the polygon we just have to take the, the good quarters appropriate quarters from each side and this will be a, the polygon preserved 6 gone preserved uh, by all these rotations but not by reflections so this will be uh, 6 gone whose group of symmetries is uh, C3 with uh, C3 the group of symmetries uh, and another way to represent this group as a group of symmetries of some polygon is to introduce this ratchet ratchet polygon so we have two perfect polygons uh, one inside the other and then we create this ratchet figure straight lines well my drawing is not that far from perfect so this is uh, again figure with uh, a C3 a group of symmetries so maybe for for uh, C4 I will draw the figure becomes a little bit better, uh, a little bit more clear. So uh, C4 is also the group of symmetries of this uh, ratchet polygon. So this is the ratchet polygon which is preserved by C4. So at this point you should try and draw the figure, of the polygon, uh, whose group of symmetries is C5. Draw uh, the C5 preserved ratchet. So for C4 it had uh, eight vertices, uh, your uh, ratchet polygon for C5 should have 10 vertices. Okay, finally, uh, so this was all uh, for n bigger than 2. So what are D1, D2, C1 and C2? So D1 is uh, just the group of uh, uh, two elements which is uh, generated by sigma and that's the uh, group of symmetries of a um, um, isosceles triangle which is not equilateral something like this and uh, D2 we have uh, we have uh, sigma and one rotation so we have sigma and uh, rotation by 180 degrees so a half turn around the origin so uh, that is actually the familiar Klein reflection for group so this is uh, D4 finally uh, C1 is just uh, identity 
that's the group of symmetries of uh, scaling triangles. Absolutely regular triangle. So something like that. Which is only preserved by identity. And uh, C2 is the group generated by sigma O, which is this same half turn. And uh, that is the group of symmetries of, uh, let's say, parallelogram, which is not, which is not a rhombus. So parallelogram not a rhombus. So we covered all dihedral groups and all uh, their even subgroups. So uh, that means we presented a polygon for each of them uh, whose uh, symmetry group is, is uh, one of the dihedral groups. So do you think uh, that the converse is true? In other words, that um, that if we take an arbitrary polygon in the plane, not necessarily not necessarily perfect, or one of those special types, uh, do you think that uh, symmetry group of any polygon in the plane must be one of the dihedral groups? So we will find the answer soon enough. I'll see you next time.